The United States is running concentration camps on our southern border, and that is exactly what they are. They are concentration camps. And um, if that doesn't bother you, I don't. Man, she's so articulate. I mean, is she is she drinking again? Alejandria, you have to stop. You are a congresswoman now, Carina. You can't just get drunk on your floor at home anymore. And really, does she really not have no furniture no more? She makes $174,000 a year. 174 grand. She can't afford a chair. No, she's she's using that money for the things that matter. Look at this. Look at this here. This is what she bought for herself. She got herself a record player so that she could continue her effort to quote, slow things down. You, my friend, don't need to slow anything down any more than they already are. They are already plenty slow, AOC. If they got any slower, your brain would be going in reverse, as evidenced by the fact that you thought, you know what? You know what? The first thing that I'm going to get for my apartment is a cute vintage record player. I mean, my goodness. And these are the people who control the purse? God help us all. But that's not, that's not even my favorite part about this video. No, my favorite part of this video is probably this. Look, look at this. While, while she's doing her sermon from the floor or whatever, one of her apparent fans is just screaming, Allahu Akbar, in the comment section. Allahu Akbar, praise emoji. Allahu Akbar. I mean, we're the scary ones? All right. Now, after she throws these rhetorical bombs, she has the audacity to say, no, 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 that's, that's not what I'm doing at all. You know, I don't use those words lightly. I don't use those words to just throw bombs. Um, I use that word because that is what an administration that creates concentration camps is. Um, a presidency that creates concentration camps is fascist. And it's very difficult to say that. It doesn't even make sense. Doesn't make a wit of sense. In order to not be a rhetorical bomb AOC, you actually have to explain why they are concentration camps. You can't just throw that out there and say, well, yeah, they're concentration camps because I say they are, and therefore they are. They're not concentration camps, and she provides zero backup as a way to explain that they are. I mean, this woman, she's been to the border. She knows that despite the fact that they are totally overwhelmed at the border, they still treat everyone as humanely as possible. She knows this. She knows that they show, they show the kids movies. They have games. She's seen how the detention centers work. She knows. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe she needs to take a trip to southern Poland. Maybe there she can see how actual concentration camps, camps like Auschwitz-Birkenau worked. Maybe she needs to do that before so that she thinks twice before she compares anything we have here in America to that or actually anything ever. I mean, Churchill called what happened at those camps probably the greatest and most horrible crime committed in the whole history of the world. Perhaps AOC needs a reminder for how serious her accusations are and how much weight they actually hold in world history and how she should never flippantly use those terms. Maybe if she saw those camps firsthand, she would see for herself the concentration camps for what they are.